guys i'm gonna get right into it the whole situation if you watch my other video i wanted to turn this into an aviary it's not gonna work there has been some issues and there's just really not much i could do about it than actually getting an aviary specifically for this area now i did get a catio because in my area there's really not much aviaries i did find a couple but they were sold out so i got believe it or not a catio it looks exactly like an aviary, but it's called a catio. Basically, um, a place, I guess, outdoor safe place for cats. Um, so there's that. I'm going to build it. I'm hoping for the best. Um, I'm not going to film uh, me kind of building it. I'll just show you guys the end result. I'll also show you guys the exact uh, model I used. So yeah, it should be pretty big. Um, when I was reading the review, someone did the same exact setup for eight of their cockatiels and it seemed to have worked for them. So I'm going to do it. Wish me luck and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Hey guys, I'm going to upload this video and then I'll show you guys what it looks decorated. But... I just wanted to show you guys an overview now there was six of those now let me first open it but there are locks at the top uh, part and then at the bottom which i i had to put together and then there is ow sorry i hit myself but then there is this and then there is one more up here this is flat now there was six of them because if you guys remember, I said that this was a catio. So it's obviously so cats could, you know, you could put something obviously soft and they could kind of watch outside and stuff like that. So there were six of it so they could kind of easily climb. But my birds have wings, obviously. So they're going to be flying. So I didn't really want to clutter it with these flat things. But I did decide to add two. So one of them is kind of like my level. I'm like 4 feet 11, probably like four feet four I don't know you get it's 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 quite higher up and then that one I decided to put at the bottom now obviously birds poo so I don't know if that's gonna stay but you know what you never know maybe they want to venture down so I did add that but this is what it looks in the inside I know it's kind of boring but I still wanted to show you guys um so yeah um Stay tuned. I haven't obviously have, you know, my birds are obviously not here, but this is what it looks like. Um, I have no complaints so far. Um, yeah, I mean, everything seems to be working well. My biggest worry when getting this was actually the, um, what to call, the diameter, whatever you want to call like the In bird cages, we say like bar spacing. I think it's the same with cats or whatever. I just wanted to make sure the um, spacing was good. And this is just my finger. So it's, it's very safe. If anything, it's actually a lot smaller than my bird cages itself. It's probably like one centimeter all around. Or I do remember online it did say that it was 0 0.9 millimeter. I could be wrong, but it's quite small. I'm being serious. Even finches could easily be housed in here if you have finches. It's really nice. It's really big. It's honestly really... It's taller than me, and I'm 4 feet 11. I probably come, like, over here. Maybe I'm overestimating it because I am a shorty. But it's quite tall. I'm being honest. It's quite tall, and it's quite wide. What I also like about this, it's, it's also wide from this side, if that makes any sense. I didn't want it something skinny, but long, you see what I'm saying? I still want it like, also, I wanted it big from each, each side. So this is, this is almost too perfect <laughs> so far. Um, I have no complaints, but yes, I am going to decorate it. And hopefully I could upload another video of me decorating my new Avery. I hope you guys like this video. I know I haven't kind of done much other than building it. By the way, this took forever to build. It legit took me like 7 hours, 8 hours. I'm only 4 feet 11. So I did have to use like a ladder for the top area. Um, I'm short. Um, and yeah, it, it, it's not hard. I will, I repeat, it's not hard. I had to use, um... A drill what to call handy dandy drill it's not it's definitely not hard it's just 
a very long process and I took my time with it. And honestly, I'm saying 67 hours, but I didn't take a break. Other than two washroom breaks, <laughs> I didn't take a break. So it does take quite a while. And I was reading the reviews and someone did say it took them two days to do it with their husband. So it does take quite a bit of a time. And like I said, if, if somehow you're watching this because you want it for your cat, it might take you a bit longer because I didn't, I didn't put all six of them. I only have two. The other four, I just stored it just in case, you know, one breaks, one gets old, whatever. I could still use it. I didn't want to throw it out. The top is great. Now, I will say um, this is that this catio, in my case, my Avery, it is all year weather proof. So I can actually put it outside, but I don't want to do that. <laughs> so if you do have cats or if you live in a very warm climate and you can actually get this, um, you can leave it outside, no issues. Um, I just want to be extra safe. I'm really not risking it. As you can see, yes, the doors are open, but it's still in a closed environment because at nighttime, I really want to be able to lock this. I want to be able to lock this, lock that door, lock that door, and obviously my front entrance. Like I'm, I want to lock everything because I'm not playing when it comes to my bird. I got to be extra safe. So yeah, but this is very nice it's definitely not flimsy but the wood itself i wouldn't also say it's very heavy like i have carried heavier wood i mean i make my own toys and stuff it's not flimsy but the wood itself it's very comfortable if that makes any sense like it's it's sturdy but it's also not super duper heavy so that's also something i like about it but yeah um i'm gonna make a video of me maybe decorating it or me just showing how I decorated the inside now I'm hoping I do a good job I am gonna get some fall toys but they haven't come yet so I'm just gonna stick to the toys I have right now and then maybe I could do like a fall Avery tool who knows you know we're using our imagination at this point but yeah this is what it looks like I love it I hope you guys also like it but yeah, thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you guys like it. Bye-bye.